Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. So here we are in Modestoke. Last time, we continued our uh, post-game exploration of the wild area. This time, we're actually going to keep going with it. So we're heading back into the wild area. And let's just see what we can find. Alright. Hello there, Weezing. Alright, so it is a Galarian Weezing. Fair enough. I mean, not exactly something we need since we do have one, but still. Still, can't complain. Alright. So let's go see exactly what we can find here. We're getting 200 watts right here. Hmm. All right. Let's go down this way, I guess. And North Lake Milo. Alright. Anything of interest here? Hmm. And there's a vanilla light we just ran into. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Fair enough. We already do have a double scoop, though, so. Alright. Get some more watts. Alright. I see we don't have too many raid things to do here. Nothing in the den. Fair enough. Maybe some random person on the internet will have a raid for us to do. Connecting. Fair enough. Cause this is probably the place to go for post-game content, I would think. The uh the, the wild area. Alright, let's go get some berries. Really? We only shook it one time, and this Regent wants to have some fun with us. Alright. Regent, look, I don't want to attack you. Somehow, I don't think you want to be attacked, so let's just go our separate ways and call it a, uh, call it a day. Alright, take the Escare Berry, it's fine. Huh. Ooh. Bulldoze. Alright, I'll take it. I'll take it. Can't complain about a free TM. Alright. Yo, oops. Alright. Hello there, Bisharp. Looking sharp. Alright. As sharp as ever, let's quick ball you. Yeah. 
Um, we gotcha. We gotcha. Nice. All right. So with that, we have captured a Bisharp. Cool. Cool. All right. So let's call you, uh, let's call you Blade. Alright, Blade to the box, let's go. else here hmm. well okay you know maybe there's other areas we can explore because we're just randomly running into another double scoop Fair enough. Fair enough. Let us run. Well, I mean, was this where we found the Lapras before? I think. I feel like that frillish is going to attack us. Why is it we just like completely despawn every once in a while? Alright. Um... Huh. It's kind of weird the way that... The way this happens. Hmm. Alright. Well... Let's just continue moving uh, moving on uh, around here, I guess. Right along. Oh, hello there. The wild Bolton. Fair enough. Fair enough, let's go catch you. Since I really don't feel like evolving Yamps, so... You know. Alright, you don't want to stay in the ball, that's... That's your choice, I suppose. Oh, god. Well then. Healing should not kill you. And with the hail, it'll bring you into the yellow zone. Alright. Now let's flip Ultra Ball you. I mean, let's let's be honest. The coloring of the ball fits you. Of course, you're gonna break out, so there's that. 
Why has Galar gotta be so cold? Like, I feel like it's so much snow here. There's so much snow in this region. Alright. You're breaking out. I can't even... I can't go into Ants and Paralyze yet because you're an electric type. Hmm. Well then. But you know what? You're gonna stay in this ball. I know you are. I know you're staying in this ball. I know it for a fact. See? See? I knew it. I knew it! Alright. So, the Pokemon, this Pokemon generates electricity and channels it into its legs to keep them going strong. The Bolton can run non-stop for three full days. Alright, let's call you... Bolt. Alright. Cool. Got an energy root. Alright. Got some more um, some more uh, watts here. And we just went into a giant circle, didn't we? Alright. Let's go pick some berries. So we got Naspier and a Rost. We got another Rost. Alright, I think that's... We got a lot of Rost berries, so like five of them, I think. Six of them. Alright. Fair enough. All right, moving right along. Okay, let's go move on. All right. You know, if we're, if we're right here anyway, might as well heal up. Might as well heal up while we are at Modestoke. So... Because I think we've been to a lot of the areas in the uh, the wild area. So that's kind of, I guess, cool. So. Let's do a little bit more looking around. Maybe we should buy some more quick balls, perhaps. I don't know. Alright. Maybe there'll be some more max raid battles for us. Hmm. Alright, here we are at West Lake Axwell. Getting more watts. It's right behind a, a pop code. Okay. All right. Let's see what's here. Huh. Scrafty. Ah, hey, you know what? What the heck? Let's do it. Let's invite some others too. You know what? I kind of think we're better off using cream. 
So let's see if anyone wants to join us. I say give it about a minute or two. So see how this how this goes. I mean, we do have we do have a type advantage here, which will be kind of nice. I don't really know how much coverage Crafty really gets to hit a fairy type, but then again, you never really know how this is gonna go, especially because. It could just straight up target us <laughs> multiple times. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Well then. Alright, let's just go for it. Ready to battle? Let's let's start this battle. All right, here we go. All right, Scrafty. Let's do it. Let's do this. Cream, let us... Let us Dynamax. And we are gonna max Starfall on this thing. Let's go. Let's go! speed or no a flying truck. that's not good yeah that's what I was afraid of because now we aren't gonna actually get to give a full hit I do have to go for the flying press although I feel like that should do some damage though flying press considering it's it should do double super effective damage oh no of course the all axe Never saw that Max Knuckle coming. Of course, now I think he's gonna hit even harder. Alright, the storm is growing. Alright, let's do this. Max Starfall. Alright, Flying Press. Okay, break that. So now it's at minus one. Defenses. Alright, now we should be able to land our max starfall. With that thing at minus actually minus two, I believe, in Spidaf. Oh wow, that thing ate it. Alright. So the Misty Terrain is up. We're gonna get desperate. Can't say I didn't see that coming. High jump kick. Ooh. All right. Well, sash carp. Snorlax is back. All right, we got some trouble here. All right, we're gonna break. We're gonna break this. But we're not gonna do a whole lot of damage, I don't think. We did some damage. Of course, it's probably gonna end up nullifying the stat changes. I would, I would imagine. Max Knuckle. All right, who are you killing right now? Car. Okay. All right. All right. Well. My concern is it's going to do something to kill something else, because now, now we have a problem. Actually, you know what? Okay. Kills the Snorlax, meaning one more kill and we outspeed it, though. We outspeed it, so we should win this. I don't want to drain it because I want a dazzling gleam. Flying pressure kill it anyway, though. We got this. We got this. All right. All right. So Scrafty is weakened. Let's catch it. 
I mean, it's not technically night time yet, so... Uh... I guess Ultra Ball be the best bet. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's go! Here goes nothing. Scrafty, do you want to be caught? Do you want to be caught? That's one. That's two. That's three. Show me the click. That's what I'm talking about. So there we go. With that, we have captured a Scrafty. All right. Cool. As half-hard as this Pokemon's kicks may seem, they pack enough power to shatter Conkleger's concrete pillars. All right. So, let's call you, um, you're a hoodlum, let's just call you hood, alright. I shall send you to the PC. Okay, we have defeated a raid. Hello there, Bunnelby. Hello. I'm not the biggest fan of Diggersby, which I, I know that it's actually pretty good in the competitive scene and all. But I actually do like Funnel Bay a lot. Especially uh, for a, uh, a regional rodent. Huh. Let's pick some berries. Cooking at your camp can restore HP and even keep you a Pokemon. Alright, so fair enough. I guess it makes sense if you put berry, uh, certain berries in your food you're cooking that it can uh, heal up the Pokemon. Since berries can do that. So, makes sense. Alright, there's an Onyx here. There was a Dickersby. Huh. I think I saw a Lapras down there. Is it time for us to get our revenge, or to get our, uh, Okay, Lapras take two, let's go. You know what? I kind of want to lead off Yamps here, so in case it quick ball doesn't work, we can nuzzle it. With enough time before it, uh, perish kills itself, I should say. Before the Lapras itself perishes. Alright, Lapras, but you look like you want to get caught. I think you want to be caught. So... We're gonna quick follow you. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see how this goes. Come on. All right. All right. Lapras Redemption Arc. There you have it. A smart and kind-hearted Pokemon. It glides across the surface of the sea while its beautiful song echoes around it. The transport Pokemon. All right, so um, hmm. Let's call you um blue. All right. Not being very creative, I suppose. But there we go. There you have it. We have officially redeemed ourselves from that Lapras fail last time. <laughs> Alright. Got a big pearl. I'll take it.
Alright. Cool, alright. Alright, let us move on. Moving right along. Let's go back this way. Oh, okay. Hello there, Sneasel. Alright, you probably outspeed me, so you know what? If you can't beat him, join him. Let's catch you. And there we go. Cool. Alright, Yams is even gaining a level from this. What do you know? Alright. Cool. So, let's call you... Pause. Alright. And immediately we're running into another Sneasel. But this one's male. Hmm. You're not gonna let me run, seriously? You already outspeed me, and why, why would you agility if you already outspeed me, unless you're expecting me to nuzzle you? You're expecting me to nuzzle, aren't you? Oh my goodness! Let me run! You know what? You know what? You asked for it. You know what, Sneasel? I was gonna let you. I was gonna let you run around, run away freely. I was gonna let you get away with this. But you know what? You know what? Take that. All right. You know what? You're almost female. You're male. Clearly, you want to be caught. You clearly want me to catch you. So you know what? I'm gonna throw a great ball at you. I'm gonna give you an opportunity. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to be caught because I think that's what you wanted. You don't want to be caught. And what is it you want, Sneasel? Do you want me to catch you? Do you want me to not catch you? What is it you want? You, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta pick one. You didn't stay in the, you didn't stay in the ball. You're not staying in the ball. You're not letting me run. You're not letting me Oko you. Mm. All right, I'm gonna give you one more chance here. In fact, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball here. This is your last chance. If you want to be caught, you'll stay in this ball. If you desperately want to be caught. Okay, you wanted to be caught. Comes down to that. All right, all right. And you know what? I'm gonna call you Slash. Alright. There you have it. Deep down that Sneasel just it wanted to be caught. Revival Herb, I'll take it. Getting some more watts. I'll take it. Here we have a water stone. Cool. Can't complain. 
know there was an item on the ground we just cycled right past. Oh! We're getting attacked by two little cub shoes! Well, we were about to. They're so cute running! Oh! <laughs> that is so cute! That is legitimately so cute! Oh, there's Ixagoon. Alright. I'm not even lying when I say Cub Chew is one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm not even lying. Alright. I just realized we never caught one of you. Let's catch you. Alright. We have captured a Galarian Zigzagoon. Alright. Alright, let. Maybe we did catch you. I don't know. I guess we did. I don't know. I can't remember. Stony Wilderness. join this raid? Nope, we can't. Okay. Too late on that one. Anything it's not too late for? Oh, that's a fish up right there, looks like. Hmm. Oh! Hello! Colossal. Yo. Alright. You know what? I'll take you. You're gonna stay in this ball. Never mind. You are totally 100% not staying in that ball. Alright, I guess I'm gonna know who you am. I believe you are rock fire, so... I'm just gonna nuzzle you. No big deal, just, you know, this, this might, uh, this might, well, this might shock you a bit, but it won't really kill you. The hail, however, that could kill you! Alright. In the long run, if you don't stay in a Pokeball. Alright, let's Ultra Ball. Let's go. Let's cast a, let, let's catch a Colossal. If not, this will become a Colossal fail. Alright, just hit twice, please. You crit me on the second one. You hit me three times. Welp! Alright. Here we go. Ultra Ball time! You're gonna stay in this ball right now. Right now? Yes, you are, right? Right? You wanna stay in that ball? There we go! So, we have captured Colossal! Let's be honest, we caught so many fully evolved Pokemon in this, uh, in this wild area. It is amazing. So, it's kind of like, doesn't really matter which Pokemon you used on your journey because you can just catch from almost anything at level 60. <laughs> um, here. So, it's usually peaceful, but the vandalism of mines enrages it. Offenders will be incinerated with flames that reach 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. A coal Pokemon. Alright. Alright, then let's call you... Um... You, let's call you Flamed. Alright. 
Although I feel like Ember would be a better name for you, but whatever. See, I have an Eviolite. Good for you! Alright, let's quick ball you. Alright, you're just a little bug. You don't want to be caught, do you? After you. I'm about to die to the hail, aren't I? Yamps, I'm sorry, but you're probably about to go down to the hail. But you know what? That's okay. Alright, we're gonna go down to the hail. But... We are gonna get that power off. So you know what? Yamps, you did your job. Alright. Sorry. Sorry, Yamps, but... It had, it had to be done. It was for the greater good. Alright. Let's catch this thing. You know what? We can nap ball. We can just nap ball. Let's go. Seriously? Talk about a defective nap ball. Didn't even shake once. Alright. I feel like th there, there are actually, like, Pokeballs that are programmed in the game to be defective. Where they should have a good catch rate, but then they just don't work. Because, theoretically, that Netball should have a better, should have a better chance than a Great Ball. On a bug. Theoretically, of course. Head smash. Now, that does sound smashing, but... I don't like the recoil. I don't like the recoil. I'll think about... I mean, we can always relearn it. It's famous for its high level of intelligence, and the large size of its brain is proof that it also possesses immense psychic power. All right. In that case, let's call you Brainy. All right. Go to the box, Brainy. Be gone. All right. We got a Dawn Stone. I'll take it. Let's pick some berries. Two Ganlin berries. Really? Hello there, Cherubi. Um. I'm gonna level with you. I don't have one of you, so I guess I'll catch you and all, but. I don't appreciate you getting in the way of my berries, because. Let's be honest. There were two Ganlin berries that fell. We're getting nothing. <laughs> we got the Cherubi and all for our efforts, but we're not getting any berries, let's be honest. I think otherwise we'd just be fooling ourselves, so. Alright. Let's call you. Berry. Alright, at least we're getting one berry from this. At least we're getting one berry from this ordeal. Okay. And now we're back at the Lake of Outrage.
That is outrageous. Did I just see an item right here? Um, oh, some guy gave us a pearl. Okay, fair enough. Dusk stone, I'll take it. Alright. Well, we're starting to rat a quick ball, so... Pile of swine. I'm gonna be honest, maybe if it was a mammo swine. Well, I guess I could always go to the remover learner. It's gonna be really easy to get you to learn ancient power. To be totally honest. Hello, Corviknight. You're gonna let me run, right? I think you're gonna let me run. Yeah, you're letting me run. I appreciate it. Oops. Obama Snow. Do I flame charge for the experience, or just, you know what? Let's just run for it. Let's just make a run for it. Pretty sure we've been here, so... Um... What am I doing? Alright, let's take on this Glally. It looks like it has the aura thing. You have that aura thing, so... We shall defeat you! Or catch I don't know. Are we gonna flinch? Alright. Rock Tomb. You know, I guess I could try catching you. Alright, let us extra ball. I'm not totally sure what that whole aura thing means, but, you know. Yeah, alright. Alright, I'm only gonna throw one more Ultra Ball, and then I think I'm just gonna let you- I'm just gonna let you faint. Ooh, critical capture! I'll take it. Alright. Nice. So I'm guessing that aura thing probably just means they have better stats or something. I would guess. And you get watts, apparently. So 295 watts. I'm not gonna complain. Alright. And of course, I'm just gonna run to another Glalie. Alright. You know what? Glalie, you're gonna let me run right now. I know you outspeed me, but you're still gonna let me run. Oh my goodness! Let me run! Must I KO you? Because I will. You know I will. Let there be no mistake, I will KO you. Thunderstone. Okay. All the evolution stones. What's with these Glalies and running into me?
Okay, let's get away from that double scoop before it attacks us. Oh, hello there, little snom. I believe we have one of you. So is that all that's here? I guess that's all that's here. Fair enough, I guess. Alright. Alright, you know what? Be sure I outspeed this thing. Might as well just, like, rock tune it. Goodbye, Snom. Goodbye. Free experience. Alright. So if that's basically all that's here, then... Alright, Glalie, you're gonna keep... Look at these Glalies, they just like straight up go after us. Kinda crazy. Mm. Whoa. That is what it looks like when a uh, giant Abomas no sees you and starts running after you. Okay, so is Snom the only thing that's, like, randomly wild here? I mean... Nothing personal against Snom or anything, but... You know, I've already got one. Fair enough. Well then. Okay. So I guess that's pretty much the wild area then. And capping things off with a Galarian, <laughs> Mr. Mime. Alright. Let's, uh, you're not gonna let me run. You're gonna play these games. You are going to let me run right now. Thank you. Thank you, mine. Well then. On that note... I guess we should probably head elsewhere. Pungent root, pungent root. Alright, we can spend and watch and stuff. Huh. Interesting. I'm assuming we can't do this. Yep. Alright. There's nothing for us to be doing here then, clearly. Get a few more lots. This brings us back to, uh, back to Hammerlock. Alright.
So with that, we pretty much explored the, the bulk of the wild area. So, it's kind of interesting, I gotta say. There's a lot there. We definitely did not see everything there is to see there, I guarantee you. But then again, I really don't think it's possible to do that. At least not in the context of this, because we'd probably have to go see it in every single weather condition. And the likelihood of that is relatively low. Alright, let's get a, some more dive balls. More dust balls. Alright. We're probably going to want some more quick balls just to have them and all. Which means we're going to want to go all the way back to Winden. Alright. So yes, I'm here to do some shopping. Let's get some quick balls. Um, let's get 46 of them, sure. Why not? Why not? Alright. On that note, let's head to... What else is there for us to do? Let's get a search Esther. Maybe there's some more stuff for us here to do. I don't know. Um, let's take some shelter here and Bob's your uncle. Alright. So you know what? Yeah, let's go look around to see what else there is for us to do here in Galar as champion, I guess. A little more next time. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time we take a look around to see what else we have to do here in Galar. Goodbye!